Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm working on a debugger for JavaScript called Theseus. It's omniscient, retroactive, and you're going to love it. So what we have here is a simple web page with two input fields and a button. And when you click on the button, it calls get data to extract the form fields values from the page, and then it calls save. And all save does is submit those form fields to the server via Ajax and register some callbacks for whether that succeeded or failed. In both cases, it puts a status message on the page, which it will then remove three seconds later. So all in all, it's a simple web page. And the first thing to notice is that I already have Theseus running, and it's showing me the code coverage for this file. So I can tell that the page load handler has been called, but not the click handler or any of these helper functions down here. But if I click the button on the form, I get to watch the page update and all the color fill into these functions in real time. And if I wait long enough, I'll get to see that everything executes except for the failure handler. Now I'm going to clear the name field and then resubmit the form. And this time we'll get to see that all those call counts increment except that now the failure callback's been called instead of the success callback. Now we get to see the next cool thing that Theseus does, which is if I click on one of these call counts, and here I've clicked on the failure callbacks call count, then I get a log of every time that function's been called. So now I can inspect all the arguments that were passed to the failure callback, even though I hadn't given them names ahead of time, and find out that the first argument looks kind of like a response object, and if I scroll down, I'll see that the response text parameter looks like a JSON object saying that the name was blank, and that the HTTP status code was 400 for bad request. Now, another one of the cool things that Theseus does is that it doesn't just show you a chronological log. If you were to click on two of these call counts without clearing one of them first, then you actually get a call tree. So I get to see which of these calls to get data correspond to which of these calls to the click handler. And of course, I can continue adding functions in order to get a complete call tree to see that the click handler seems to call get data and then save every single time. And even more usefully for JavaScript, this works for asynchronous calls just as easily as it does for the synchronous calls. So if I go down here and click on the save function, and then both the done and the failure callbacks, then I get to see which calls to save correspond to successful and failed promises. So if the source of the error is that data in a calling function is invalid, I have the entire stack right here, and I can work backward from the failure callback to see that this object had an empty name, which was the source of the problem. Finally, Theseus works with JavaScript on web pages and in Node.js. So if I go over to the server code and click on more of these call counts, then I can have a single log with information from both the client and the server. So anyway, that's about it. I've put a lot of polish in, but I'm just one person, and Theseus doesn't do everything yet. So patches and ideas are welcome. Just check out the GitHub. Thanks.